So the VR training is a learning experience that recreates real life settings. What this does is it gives them the on the job training before they get into our shops, right? So this gives another perspective of what they're gonna be doing and the things they're gonna be handling. They all volunteer to do it. Um, they want experience of the training and they all do plant safety first. UCI is the first in the nation um, as a correctional industries to be able to have our inmate participants use the transfer headsets and utilize them in the most effective way possible. We've provided the transfer headsets to both our male and female participants, so all UCI shops currently have access to the headsets. We're able to download whatever training it is that we need to the headsets, which allows us to not have to use any Wi-Fi and to be a complete secure facility. The great thing about this system is that it actually tracks the inmates' training for us, and so we're able to see who's completed what, when they've completed it, and be able to provide feedback of what they're missing. Most of our offenders love the opportunity, mostly because it's something that's outside the norm, um, and it gives them opportunity to do something that they probably wouldn't any other time see, especially where it, um, they're hearing about these from their friends and family, and so the opportunity to have um, up here to do that and then be able to have something else to relate to family back home with has been really beneficial as well. I was actually the first one, the inmate that they practiced on, to be able to use it. So I was, I jumped right on it and took off with it. It was, I didn't want to get off of it. It's pretty cool. I mean, we hear about it and it's a new technology that we haven't been privileged to see because we're incarcerated, but to be able to strap that on and get the, the, the training and, and just to, to actually play with it is, that's a privilege, honestly had a few offenders not want to try it at all and I think a lot of that is based in fear. Um, some of them have never even had an Xbox, a, a Super Nintendo for that matter and so when um, it's their turn and I approach them and say hey it's your turn um, I have had some offenders go yeah I'll pass and I encourage them to give it a shot um, even ones that they were a hard no I said well we're gonna have you just do the introduction and then after the introduction you can you know let me know if that's something you don't want to do again. And actually, out of all of the offenders up here, I've only had one that said, nope, again, this is not for me. He tried it and found out this is not his world. This is technology that's being used in the streets. And so as UCI advances their training programs, we want to stay consistent to that. So integrating this into our program will definitely give them a benefit out in the streets if they ever had to go out there and use something similar. Technology is where the world's going and being interested in it and, and interactive in it is, is a real honor, I, I believe. I would say there's a lot of positive feedback from the offenders when they're done with these programs. A lot of them would like to continue. Even if the offender doesn't get benefit from the actual program itself, I have noticed a difference in confidence. Um, they do talk about it with the other offenders who have tried it. There's a lot of experience in that way as well. So even if it's just not beneficial maybe in the program aspect, it is beneficial for the individual, I feel. Um, we've also made a lot of contact with other correctional industries who have wanted to see how we were able to implement this so that they can follow our footsteps.